Hey guys, welcome to Southern Ladies Recipes. Thank you all so much for joining me today. Remember to like, subscribe, share, and comment what at the bottom. And don't forget to hit that notification bell, okay? So once I post a video, you can come on over here and check me out. So as you can tell, mm -hmm, we are making crawfish bread today. Yeah, I bet you're like, how you make that? Well, I'm going to show you. <laughs> so we have our Monterey Jack cheese. We have Parmesan cheese and Romano cheese. We have mayo, butter, parsley flakes. We have our garlic. We have our slap your mama, but not mine though. We have some crusty French bread. Mm-hmm. Delicious. And it's already pre-sliced. And we have two packs of crawfish. Oh, yeah. So, come on, guys. Let's get ready to make this what? This goody goodness. Okay, guys. So, I have our French bread cut in half. Boom. So, that's what we're going to do. We're going to put our filling on top of our french bread when, when it's time to bake it so we're going to start off with our one part of our crawfish crawfish and i have three tablespoons of parsley flakes i have one fourth cup of grated parmesan cheese the parmesan uh, romano but it can just be parmesan if you don't have the parmesan in romano that's fine we have one cup of the Monterey Jack cheese. And we have one half cup of mayo. So we're just going to mix this in very well together. Hope you all had a great day today. I sure did. So now we have this blended in very well together. Make sure you blend it in good because you don't want to not have it blended in well. Because if you take a bite of your crawfish bread and all you're tasting is parsley, that will not be a good thing. Oh, excuse me. I'm sorry, guys. Did I not have a bowl in the picture? It's all right. It's all right. So this is how it's going. This is how it's going to look once you finish incorporating it all together. So let's get started on crawfish. Okay, so we're on part two. Part duh. <laughs> so we're going to take half a stick of butter. We're just gonna throw that in our nice hot pan. Our garlic, one tablespoon. Mm -hmm. This is good. So we're just going to let this cook down, let the butter melt. Let the garlic get nice and brown. And we're going to add our crawfish in just a second. Okay, so your oven should be preheating on 375 degrees. As you can tell, our garlic is in nice and brown. So we're going to add both of our packs of crawfish. And as you can tell, I drained all of that juice. We're going to take our slap your mom if I can find the front. <laughs> and we're just going to season our crawfish. You can put as much or as little as you like, but you know, you always want to season. Throw this in together. So 
So what we're going to do is just cook this down for just a little bit. Get, let it get nice and buttery. Uh-oh, sorry guys. Didn't mean to do that. Didn't mean to hit the camera. Oh, this smells so good. Oh, yeah. Just taking a butter bath, butter and garlic bath. And I just want to add just a little bit more of my Slap Your Mama. Remember, we like it spicy around these parts. My assistant chef said that she doesn't, so I have actually another assistant chef, so I have several assistant chefs. They just don't like to be on camera. Ha! So we're just going to let this take a bath in this butter and garlic for like another probably five minutes, and we're going to turn the heat off. And we're going to add this mixture to the crawfish. But, you know, I'll show you all that in just a second. Okay, crawfish has been cooking for five minutes. So now we're just going to add our cheese mixture to this. I'm so difficult sometimes, huh? So we're just going to mix this in together real well. Mm -hmm. Ooh, when I taste smell. Excuse the, the noise in the background. I tell you, this smells so, so good. Oh my gosh. Mm -mm -mm. Are y'all ready to put it on the bread? Because I'm ready to put it in the oven and ready to get it in my belly. Get in my belly. I want all of this in my belly. So, come on. I have this blended in well, so it's time to put it on the bread now. So this is what your mixture is supposed to look like once you finish stirring it in really, really well, incorporating it in really, really well. This is what it's going to look like. So now, since I have our bread cut in half, I have it on a cookie sheet pan with wax paper. It's time to load it up. And be generous about it, you know. This is your crawfish bread. Make sure you get it on there good, okay? Now it's gonna be a little hot. Whew. But don't be scared of it. Don't be scared of the crawfish. So this is what we're gonna do on each one of our loaves. We're just gonna load it up with the crawfish filling. Whew. Hot. Hot on my finger. And you just need to cook this until it's nice and golden brown, okay? Yes, I'm going to go back over and put some more. Uh-oh. It's tilting to the side. So I'm just going to repeat this step on my other two loaves. I'm going to put it in the oven. It's on, my oven is set on 375. We're just going to cook until it's nice and golden brown. You see it? Can you smell it? Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> so I cooked this in the oven on 375 for exactly 20 minutes. So you know what time it is. It is tasty time. Ooh. I can't wait. So let's see. Any, mini, miny. We're going to go with Mo. Oh, I don't even want to cut it. Oh, it's so beautiful. It's 
excuse my ashy hands. Oh, yes. So it's tasty time. One more time, make sure it's not poisonous. Mm. Oh. <laughs> oh my God. This is so delicious. Okay. I gotta go. I gotta finish this. Cause I'm not supposed to be talking with food in my mouth. I don't want my mama to get me. But as you can tell, this is our crawfish bread. Just make sure you can see it again. Mm-hmm. 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 Thank you all for coming. To Southern Ladies Recipes. Remember to like, subscribe, share, and comment at the bottom. Thank you all so much. And remember to try this. It's D-Doggone Licious.